Hi, good afternoon. I like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2. And peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now, we are going to get into a Sacred Woman, okay? Right now, we're going to be on part two. Um, chapter two, here on poem Praise 2. Now, this section is called Womb Wisdom. For chapter two, the title is Gateway Zero, the sacred womb, the sacred guardian, grandmother Newt. And it has uh, Bibby Mason, Queen Mother Moore, ancestors, Aunt Iris O'Neill, Dr. Josephine English, elders, and Dr. Jewel Pukram. Nan Kululeko Tai Himba contemporaries. I apologize if I didn't say that name correctly. Here is an actual picture right here. And we're just going to go ahead and turn the page and go ahead and get into chapter two. I have another picture for you too. I am going to be reading what's at the top of this particular page. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into chapter two. Creating your sacred altar. Your altar should be placed in a room undisturbed by the public. A private prayer area is best. A place where you, your family, and attuned friends can go to pray. This is the designated area where you will commune with the Creator, receive spiritual, mental, and emotional comfort, and gain inner guidance through visions from your great upliftment. If you don't have such a room, then set up your altar in any quiet area of your sacred home. One day not too long from now, you will look about your entire house, entire home, and realize with joy that every room is like an altar, empowered with your sacred touch and loving energy from the indwelling sacred spirit in your chosen meditation area place the table for your altar now the sacred womb altar work face your heart to the east to the rising sun lay out from top view and here this uh, almost looks like a it's a diagram Now, it has mount pictures on wall above altar, divine image of spiritual guardian, picture of ancestors, picture of sacred self, picture of elder, picture of contemporary. Has a feather air, anointing oils, frankincense, a baptism bowl, water, a ankh for eternal life or other sacred symbol, spirit, white our blue candle, fire. Flowers are plants, earth. Sacred stones, turquoise, black tourmaline, our moonstone. Food for the NTR and your ancestors, corn, rice, fruits, etc. Release food from the altar after 24 hours. Place a tantric quartz crystal A on your altar. Sacred tablecloth, white or blue, and scarf a prayer shawl to wear during altar work. Sacred 
color cloth to lay before altar with your sacred instruments to be played as you pray, i.e., which are examples, a harp, zither, drum, bell, rattle, etc. Sacred Altar Preparations Remember to purify all your sacred altar objects before positioning them on your altar. Handle each object with consciousness, emitting the highest possible vibrations and intention from your body, mind, and spirit. Wash each altar object in a bowl of purified water mixed with a few drops of frankincense and myrrh and a pinch of sea salt. Dry with a clean white cloth. Use the specific diagram outlined for each gateway to direct the placement of each of your sacred objects. Sacred Tablecloth Cover the table with a clean white cloth for purity. Then add the appropriate suggested color for the gateway you are working in. For example, you can use a blue cloth to create peace within the womb and lessen menstrual bleeding. Pictures. First place an inspirational picture of yourself in a beautiful frame made from a natural material wood, crystal, or glass upon your altar as a reminder of your divinity. Next, add framed pictures of symbolic representations of the spiritual guardians, ancestors, elders, and contemporaries who support you at each gateway. Sacred Stones Place the recommended sacred stones on your altar to harness the energies of the mineral kingdom and support of your healing intention. For example, rose quartz is a wonderful tool for invoking the energies of divine love. Fresh flowers or plants. Use fresh flowers or plants to establish the energies, excuse me, energies of the living earth on your altar. For example, use the African violet plant to banish negativity, or an aloe plant for physical healing. I'm just reading this, y'all. Some is just interesting. It's just like very intriguing, but um, let's continue on. Candles. To honor the fire element, light, a small white candle. Other colors of candles may be used according to the recommendations for the gateway. For safety, if you are using a large seven-day candle, place it in a bowl of water in a safe place on your altar. Never leave a candle burning when you're away from home. Blow it out upon completion of your spiritual observances. Baptism bowl. Fill a crystal or wooden bowl with purified water to absorb negativity in the environment. Pour out the water after each altar ceremony and refill the bowl with fresh water at the beginning of your next session of altar work. Feather. Gently place a beautiful feather on a small pedestal or raised stand on your altar. The feather represents maintaining your balance throughout your journey, no matter how fiercely the winds of life may blow. Ankh, or other sacred symbol. Place your ankh on a small velvet or silk cloth in the center of your altar. The ankh represents eternal life and unity in body, mind, and spirit. Food. Rinse and dry all sacred food to be offered to the NTR, the Mother Father Creator. And your ancestors, your offerings should consist of high quality dry grains and fresh fruit placed in a beautiful wooden, glass, or clay bowl. Anointing oils. Use a small amount of essential oil to anoint and bless your forehead, your 
heart and your abdomen. Thus, connecting the wounds of your thoughts and emotions with your physical womb. Use only the finest of essential oils as they have a high spiritual vibration. Suggested essential oils are as follows. Rose, frankincense, myrrh, cinnamon, lavender, jasmine. As with colors, choose the fragrance best suited for your meditation purpose. See the master chart on page 134 through 139 for more information which we're going to get to that currently. If you would like to know, we're on page 26 at this moment. Refresh your sacred altar on the first day of your entry into each gateway. Preparing the altar. There is a picture right there. Okay, did you see the picture? Okay, pretty sure you saw the picture. All right. Now, we have an I call myself a womb man and this is by Nikina Evans sacred woman initiate and it reads as such how can I become a womb man when I don't know my womb hmm I have never had a conversation with my womb, so how can I consider myself a womb man? I have been with you, grown with you, been through rites of passage with you from childhood to adolescence to adulthood, and yet I've never had a conversation with you. You have been a victim of uh, consequence to an action, a system of disease, an effect of my action. I've never spoken to you, consulted with you, inquired of you, cared for you, or understood you. And I call myself a grown womb man. Where have I grown? How could I have grown without talking with you? without acknowledging your presence and your works. And I call myself a womb man. I have put you through dozens of men, alien spirits, beings, entities of all dimensions from all places and stations. I have created and destroyed babies through you. I have fed you all kinds of poisons, thereby creating disease, fibroids, tumors, cysts, and the like. I have sexually abused you, therefore creating sexually transmitted diseases, infections of all types, itching, burning, hurting, pain. I have used you for my own purposes, money, favors, alleged self-esteem, beauty, clothing, food. I have allowed men to probe you, doctors to drug you while I held you down. If I have known someone who had done all these things, I would call them the names I despise most. Murderer, thief, liar, betrayer, demon. Yes, I would. And I call myself a womb man. Time to release, release, release. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I am complete. I will be responsible for you, for myself, for my womb. We are in relationship together. We have been from the very, very beginning. I will commune and communicate with you. I will listen to you. I will wash cleanse and purify you. I will pay attention to your patterns, your moods, your signs and wonders. I will. I will. I will become the womb man that you made me from 
the beginning. And that does complete uh, this take for take one of chapter number two here on Poem Praise 2. So I want for you to be well, take care, be blessed, and it be at thy will. I'll talk with you soon here on Poem Praise 2. So until next time, <laughs> later y'all.